has put down God that failed his expectations. We have the case of Abraham when he was observing the heavenly bodies. He was seeking a concept of his Lord, of God, that would satisfy his soul. He had rejected the concepts that his people, his father and his society had offered to him. He refused to worship dirt and clay and wood and iron that the tribes fashioned into God. He refused to worship them. So he had gone out away from the influences of his immediate society and he had gotten himself off into the, uh, the, the gravity and the influences of the natural world itself. And he was observing the heavenly bodies and he, as he observed them, he said, oh, that must be the God. Because they seem to have had a more dignified, a more glorious place in the environment, the physical or natural environment, than those small earthen-made things that his people were worshiping. But as he observed, he saw the sunrise, finally he saw the sunrise after seeing other things that there must be a God. So finally he saw the sunrise when the sun rose in the morning so gloriously. He said, oh, this must be the Lord. But he observed on. He didn't give up searching. And as the sun set, he said, oh, no, this can't be my Lord. So Abraham, in the words of the Quran, came to the conclusion that the Lord, the real Lord, is not one subject to the limitations that's on his creation. That he is beyond the limitations of his creation. That creation is a servant and it must have a master. He saw everything else performing a service. He saw nothing in the universe that was independent. He reasoned scientifically that the sun wasn't independent. It's going to go out one day. That if you sleep today, you're going to sleep a final death one day to come. Now, Abraham was correct. Modern day scientists tell us that the sun is slowly going out. One day it's going to completely become solidified, cool and will be just a cold man floating through the universe. That's going to happen one day. <clears throat> now, it's, it's good that the, the prophets didn't need the modern-day scientists to tell them those things. Allah says in our Quran, understand, everything you behold with your senses is passing away. Just a matter of time. Isn't that what you love except the reality of God? His manifestation will never go away. But the manifestation of everything else is, uh, is under change, constant change. And one day will disappear as we see them. And we will lose their place and function or role in the great scheme of things we call the universe. Yes. So the prophets, they came to the conclusion with the guidance of God that none of those things are law. So when we say this is law, oh, you must understand what we're saying. We are speaking from faith, but we are speaking in the vein of knowledge and science. La ilaha illallah. Wahadahu. La sharika lahu. Nothing worthy of worship but that one. And nothing can be compared to him. He has no comparison. So with Saint so and so and so, can you compare him? No. Even Arabi? No. No, no. Muhammad himself, can you compare him with the God? No. Jesus Christ, no, no. Imam Wazadeen Muhammad, no, 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 no. Nothing can be compared with him. He's too much for 
and our small and narrow concerns to see that there is a Lord, there is a God over everything. Some people say this is brought on by the movement, the new rise of the moral majority, as they call themselves. I don't think so. I think a moral minority have come in and just robbed the common person of the credit that he's due for this rise in moralism, rise in respect for God. This is not with no moral majority. The moral majority represents the church. The church didn't come out here in 1975 and battle the spirit of atheism, the spirit of materialism. It was the common man who came out here in 1975 and began battling these evil forces. The church was playing consort, playing girlfriend.
of the people. Because he doesn't see the value of human life in society. So he becomes a criminal. He takes over the material power and the material forces. He becomes the dumber. He becomes the demagogue. Yeah. But then who is responsible for this? Look what happened to Junior. Now who killed him humanly and morally and spiritually? Christian did. Thank you. 